Martina Newell McLaughlin believes every human being should have physical and economic access to an adequate food supply. In fact, that is not the case. And we have a rather interesting or indeed rather sad dichotomy where you have about a billion people that are suffering from uh, lack of nourishment. World population is projected to be 8.3 billion people by 2025. That's about a 1.3 billion increase from today, and in just 14 years. With limited resources already, how will everyone eat? The tools of biotech, along with tons of other tools, I have to say, are an important component of how we can ensure, ensure that we make food available to everyone at a reasonable cost, without and to at least a minimum extent impact on the environment. Merriam-Webster defines biotechnology as the manipulation of living organisms or their components to produce useful, usually commercial, products. This includes the process that would happen in nature, picking one organism to breed with another in hopes of reproducing a certain trait. Doesn't look a thing like modern corn, does it? Mm -mm. But it also includes the process that would not happen in nature, specifically locating a gene in one organism and inserting it into another. They were referring to genetic engineering, which is actually the, uh, that's the technology that is of concern. Biotechnology has the potential to increase crop yield. Food production would be more efficient and more affordable. Hansen cites research from the USDA's Economic Research Service that suggests otherwise. Currently available JV crops do not increase the yield potential of a hybrid variety. In fact, yields may even decrease if the varieties used to carry the herbicide tolerant or insect resistant genes are not in the highest yield in cultivars. Biotechnology also has the potential to reduce pesticide use, which is better for the plant and the environment. Another main concern is health. From the science side, uh, there doesn't really seem to be any science that supports a division between so-called natural and so-called unnatural transgenic stuff in terms of health benefits or problems with health and that sort of stuff. Biotechnology is a new and constantly developing science and there is still much to learn about it. Reporting for Biotech University, Amanda Sohaney.